So, we're going to solve the simultaneous equations 4x plus 7y equals 1 and 3x plus 10y equals 15. So what I'm going to do to start with is I'm going to multiply the equations by numbers that will enable the x's to be the same. So I'm going to multiply the top equation by 3 and that will give me 12x plus 21y plus equals rather 3. So it's the top equation by 3. I'll now multiply the bottom equation by 4. If I do that, the x's become the same. It should be clear why I'm doing that. And then it's 4 lots of 10y, which is 40y. And then 4 lots of 15, which is 60. Now we can subtract um, in either direction. We can subtract this way or that way. I want to avoid negative numbers, so I'm going to do the bottom equation, subtract the top. So 12x subtract 12x is 0. 40y take away 21y is 19y. So we'll write that in, 19y. And that will equal 60 take away 3, that's 57. So y will equal 57 divided by 19. And hopefully you realise that is 3. So we take the value 3 and we substitute it into the top equation and see if we can find out the value of x. So we'll have... 4x, change my to my pen, 4x plus 7 times 3. Remember the 3 replaces the y, so 7 3s, um, which will give us 21, we'll write that down in a moment, equals 1. Let's pick up the pen. So we've got 4x plus 21 equals 1. That gives me 4x equals 1 minus 21. So we'll write the 21 in, so 4x will equal minus 20. So x will equal minus 20 divided by 4. Minus 20 divided by 4, which equals minus 5. Now we can take the minus 5 and the 3, and we can substitute them into um, one of these two equations to check that it works. So we'll substitute them into the top equation, check that it works. So what we should see then is that 4 times the value of x, 4 times minus 5, plus 7 times 3, should come to 1. So 4 times minus 5 is minus 20. Minus 20 plus 21 does indeed make 1. So you know that you've got the correct values of y and x.